Hello everybody. Okay, this is my dilemma. Well, not really a dilemma. It's, I guess, my way of doing this magazine art. Um, hmm, I'm wondering if I'm doing it <laughs> correctly or not. Anyways, this is one of my pages. And um, yeah, I'm just randomly, like, there's a binder there full of, um, this is all my Diggle Bash papers in here magazine clippings and everything and time ago I was complaining about the magazines that I have because they're all home um, home and craft magazines so I needed more people which I did find something but I, I was actually complaining about you know the objects that I have but I'm not complaining anymore because I find that I do have a nice variety of, of stuff, you know, like, um, so in this one here, I put the page that already had the cage on it and the little birdie. And mind you, I still have to go over this with, you know, pens and everything. And I might be stamping and things like that as well, too. Um, so, yeah, I just have the three bottles down here. And this is my next. I'm on my bed. And this is, you know, one of those little ironing boards that I bought at Ikea, which I use a lot on my bed to, one, fold clothes. I like to fold clothes sitting on my bed sometimes. And two, whatever kind of project I have that I'm doing on my bed, um, I'll do here with, with this ironing board because it, it's lifted up a bit. So it's, you know, like, it would be like, you know, using a, a tray. And... Um, and right now I'm on my bed because I do have really bad sciatic nerve problems and I kind of feel really almost without pain when I'm cross-legged on, on the bed. So, yeah. So this is the next page. And um, as you can see here, a nice big or tank of, you know, Hindra and, and um, lamps. And what I really like about these magazines that I have, these crafty magazines, um, is that there you have um, uh, a couple of pages that are called bizarre pages and they have the most bizarre furnishings, the most bizarre lightings, the most bizarre and it's really cool because I can get really cool stuff. Um, so some books, uh, tea, the little giraffe drinking out of the tea, some more books, a clock and this Victorian little boy. And this is the next page. I guess I'll call this a little flip through. Um, but, you know, if, if anybody can help me on, you know, if I'm doing anything wrong or, oh, and then by the way, I'm just going around it with gelados or my watercolor pencils. That's it. My crowns, my watercolor crowns. So that's about it. Um, yeah, I could do pink, but seeing that I'm in my bedroom and I have done a little bit in my bedroom with the gelados, I... Um, I prefer having something cleaner than paint in, on my bed. <laughs> so, so here's another one. Got this nice big birdhouse. This image that I that was a piece of image that I used in a journal, which I love, and and I had a little piece of it left. And I don't know if you can see that. You know, there are those you know flowers that you blow. And another little bird and um, some plates. Yeah, and a nest. This one's pretty much, you know, and I, I am putting some book paper in behind some of the pages as well, too, before I start turning them. I hope the lighting's good in here. This is another one. So, remi like, reminding you that I'm getting all this stuff, you know, cut out from these magazines that I have, these Italian crafting magazines. The little birdie, an apple, a little lady on top of it, the arrow, and these are, you know, signs from Alimentari. This, is, this would be a food grocery shop you know one of those old time signs um another sign right there and um and uh, these light bulbs that are really cool i love these light bulbs and i got lots of them too okay this is another one so what do we have here um this page of flowers and this cow head um another lamp so I got I have lots of lamps lots of chairs and couches and and things like that especially bizarre stuff some cards and behind a bowl of lemons this really cool chair can you see that and then um, another lamp on top of here a flower this cactus and the poor baby she has 
her hands in the cactus. <laughs> Little teddy bear beside her. Yeah. Would you put more? Would you put less? I don't know. Am I overcrowding? Am I not putting enough? I'm not sure. So here's another one. These are one of those old ceramic stoves. And um, uh, chandelier. And there's two cups with the lemon. And this really cool couch. Like I said, it has bizarre stuff. And this lady sitting on top. Actually, a little girl sitting on top of the couch. The next page would be um, a lot of these, you know, floral. Um, I love using because these flat these these books also have a little gardening section as well too. So I get beautiful pictures of flowers, and I like you know just to put them in like that. This cool cup, which was already cut in half, so you know I try to use the things as I can. Um, then this really cool ox, and there's another piece of you know floral print there. And here I just left it a little bit simple. Like I said, still going to, you know, stencil and is that, that, is that it there? So this is another one that I still have to go through with, you know, gelato or, you know, crown, water crowns, whatever. And like I said, cool, another couch, you know, and then they have cool objects as well too that you would, you know, long rabbit in this mailbox really like this image here a lot of the image I just absolutely love and you know I want to use them up so and, and you know the, look at the difference between this page here you know and the ones that are colored like when you color them it just brings everything out you know it just looks gorgeous um, I hope I hope you can see it better than what I'm seeing it in the view here these little oranges that say I love you the baby with her mother this really cool telephone I love this telephone um, two little objects that you know I'm finding in these in these books as well too you know and like I said I, I really like the floral images too in some of them this one I love so this one is still to be completed on you know putting something else added to it but this big huge artichoke that's stuffed and and this lady that um, I put here. So I will add something to this page here. And then this page here, oh, I love this page as well too. So this page was, you know, just one of those pages that I told you where I love the floral. And I put that, um, I think they're pheasants. I can't remember what that type of chicken is called. It, I can't remember. And then another chair, really cool chair and this little cool um, car and I will probably be putting this light bulb or finding smaller ones I have a little old radio here so what I do a lot of as well too is kind to kind of not try to mix and match the objects but mix and match the colors so you know here there was burgundy flowers so I put this burgundy car and, you know, if you look back on my pages, I am trying to, um, you know, like this one here, the little blue dress, there's blue in that and there's blue there. I am trying to combine the things with colors, but not make it too matchy-matchy. So, yeah, that's about it, you guys. Um, I hope somebody can help me out here. Um, tell me if I'm doing them right or wrong or, you know. Would really like your input on us. So, um, I am having lots of fun, and you know, just turn around here a second. And this is all my cut paper. Yeah, like every um, couple of hours, I go and grab the broom and <laughs> sweep up the floors because I'm just actually throwing everything on the ground here. But yeah, I'm still cutting things out. Um, and yeah, big pile of mess here. And I'm kind of, you know, trying to keep them in baggies. Um, what I've cut out now, but I do want to organize it in this binder that I have here that has all my um, You know all the stuff that I have so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and um, a one a video will be coming up real soon um, On my 100 things challenge. I'm preparing a few um, little journals So I do want to show you guys that and all the embellishments that I'm making for these journals as well, too. So it'll be all in one video. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video, you guys, and thank you for watching, and up until the next time, see ya, bye!